Thank you, thank you very much. All right, today what I want to do is to talk a little bit about the global photo challenge that the Bill and Melinda Gates uh, started about six weeks now. Um, and one of the things I've done is I've looked at the data that you can extract from that those pictures. Um, some of you may ask, what kind of data can you get from the picture? Well, sure, you can take the, the when it was taken and what camera they used, but you know, we're not really interested in that in this case. So what we would like to uh, look at is what kind of MDGs and what kind of people would choose those MDGs. So as an example, over here we've got a middle-aged man. Uh, so he's an adult, he's male, and you know his sign says combat major diseases, right? He wants to uh, eradicate polio. So what other information can we deduct from this picture? Anybody? Anybody? Any guesses? Nobody? Where is he? Where is he? Yeah, he's not a He's married, yes. <laughs> 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 so, unfortunately, we won't be able to get that from each and every picture. So, forget the married part. We'll just stick to the first thing. <laughs> so here's another example. Here we have an adult female. And you know, her sign is about gender equality. So the third example I want to show over here is uh, this gentleman. He's an adult male. By the way, this is Hans Rosling. He will be later on featured in one of the videos. He's a guy that can make statistics look interesting. So, so the question over here is, which Millennium Development Goal is he looking at? Because basically they're all of them, right? He says they're not, not, no longer needed. So what I did is, when I looked at all those pictures, um, I tried to categorize them, and if it falls into multiple categories, or it's a generic statement, as in world peace, or something like that, um, I just categorized, categorized it under multiple MDGs. So what I would like to do is to play a little bit of a quiz. So I would need two volunteers, one male and one female volunteer, please. Anybody? Anybody? This lady over here, right? Yeah? All right. Anybody else? Sorry, do I want to put Paul Dunn on the stand over here? <laughs> okay, Paul, come on. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Have a seat. Oh, it's you. You know each other? I think they were last night. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so your name is? Carolyn. Carolyn, nice to meet you. And you are? I'm Paul. Hi, Paul. All right, so what we will be doing is um, basically guessing um, or trying to figure out what uh, MDGs people would have chosen. Uh, and we'll start with the least popular one, and we'll just go up to the most popular one. Um, Paul? You'll be judging based on the female population. And Carolyn, you will be guessing what the male population would have chosen. All right? Okay, so we'll start with the least popular MDG. So we've got all the eight MDGs over here and the one multiple MDG, which is the one the generic category. So Carolyn, do you wanna try to make a guess of what the guys would have thought is the least popular MDG? Gender equality? <laughs> Gender equality. All right. All right. Paul? Well, this is for the female, right? Uh, this is for the female. Yeah, yeah. I think global partnership would be the least. <laughs> global partnership. All right. Let's, let's have a look at the results. Global partnership. So Paul's got a point. And the last point, maternal health, unfortunately. So, before we move on, I'd like to, to introduce Sin Jung Kang. He lives in Seoul, and for about three or four weeks into the challenge, he was the only guy that had improved maternal health on his sign. <laughs> so I, I'd like to give a, just, if, if, if Sin Jung Kang is, is watching our video later on, I want to give him a round of applause for that.
All right, back to the next one. So, uh, like, let, we'll start with Paul this time. Paul, what do you think is the next category? Uh, I think uh, HIV AIDS would be the, the, the least, next least one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. HIV AIDS, all right. Um, I think multiple MDGs, because the guys are usually more specific. Okay, multiple MDGs, all right. Let's see the answer. Maternal health on the female side and gender equality on the male side. You were almost right the previous time. <laughs> All right, well, in, in the interest of time, because there's a lot of categories here, we'll, we'll just skip a few. So we're going to be looking at the top three now. So on the female side, we have combat HIV, AIDS and diseases left, universal education, and end poverty and hunger. While on the guy side, we have environmental sustainability, universal education, and multiple MDG. So which would be number three? Carolyn, any guesses for the guys? Equality? Uh, no, we have environmental sustainability, oh, universal MDG. education, or multiple MDG. Uh, multiple MDG. Multiple MDG. All right. Paul? Uh, I think HIV, HIV AIDS. HIV AIDS again. <laughs> you, you, you sure this time? You, you sure this time? All right. Well, we'll keep trying. No, sorry. Both of them wrong. Both of them wrong. All right. So the last one. Now we're going to choose which one is the most popular MDG around. So out of the four or five hundred people that submitted the picture, which one is the most popular ones? So Carolyn, which one do you think is the most popular on the male side? Most popular MDG. Right. Universal education? Universal education, all right. Paul? I think the most popular would be universal education. So therefore the next one is HIV AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> so so we'll, 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 we'll be voting right now. It's, it's like American Idol. We'll be voting for the winner this time. So the number one you're saying is universal education, right? And you're also saying universal education. Let's see if we're right. And on the top spot, we have universal education. So Paul has a point. And multiple MDG on the guy's side. So surprising, so surprising. So what's the score now? I, I lost track of the score. Two. Two? You have two? Caroline, sorry. Sorry, Paul, you didn't win anything. <laughs> Caroline, I'm sorry, you didn't win anything either. So I just like to, I just want to have a round of applause for our contestants out here. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. All right. Um, so what I'd like to do is just to have a quick overview of the, uh, the statistics that we had. And there's a couple of surprising things here. So uh, this is based on about 400 pictures uh, that were taken over the last four weeks. I stopped doing the collection about a couple of days ago because I didn't have time anymore. Um, so a couple of interesting things. So for example, if you look at the top three MDGs, right, universal education, uh, end poverty and hunger, and combat HIV AIDS, the female population score generally higher than the guys. It's kind of interesting, especially universal education, there's a, there's a bit of a difference. The other interesting thing is that a call for s environmental sustainability is almost double among the guys versus the girls. The next one, child health, maternal health, and gender equality are not really that high on the agenda of the guys. So do we have any couples over here? Any husband or wife, boyfriend, girlfriend? You guys got something to talk about on the way home. <laughs> and, and the most surprising and most interesting result out of this one is a man is much more likely to make a generic statement about MDGs over here. So I, do we have a commitment issue here or something like that? So, all right, all joking aside, I think it's an interesting way of, of looking at the data and I would be really interested to see if there's like a, a bigger kind of survey uh, which takes into account multiple factors like uh, geography, uh, gender, uh, level of education, level of income, etc. and see what kind of information we can get out of that one and what kind of uh, impact that also would, could have on decision making processes. So I hope you found it interesting. And uh, I'll hand over back to Jerry. Thank you very much. <laughs>